girls, Merry Christmas from your old pal, Shaving Santa. It's time to shave off this... All right, that's enough. Hey, everybody. It's Christmas in July. I had to get this thing out of storage to do this. That's, that's the dedication you get in this channel. Let's just put this up here. <laughs> there we go. Let's hide it. There we go. How about that? That looks nice. Are you ready to shave? I just took a shower. I did my hair, and I messed it up with that stupid Santa hat. But I think it's time to shave. Let's shave with some cool, mentholated, pepperminty, Christmassy things that will remind me that it's not 110 degrees Fahrenheit outside yesterday and today. It's hot all over, folks. That's 43 degrees Celsius to you folks that uh, use Celsius and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I looked it up beforehand. That's the dedication you get at this channel. Now it's time to shave. It's time for Sexy Santa. Unzip it. <laughs> Gross. All right, let's put this over there. Sorry about that. You don't want to see Santa uh, in, this, in this way, do you? Yeah. Don't worry. It's all okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay, folks. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, it's just so dang hot outside. And, um, and I'm used to it. You know, I, I'm born and raised here in Texas. Uh, uh, I, I'm the sixth generation of Texans that have lived here. My ancestors' blood is in the soil, quite literally. And, but it's just, it's hot. It's too dang hot. It's that kind of heat where you just don't want to do anything. You don't want to go outside. You just want to stay in where it's air conditioned. And if you, there's a beer cooler nearby, like a grocery store or like a convenience store, I love to walk into a beer cooler on a hot day like this and maybe get a six pack or something. I don't know. But anyway, so what I'm going to shave with today, oh, I forgot what kind of, uh, well, I'm going to get old Grandpa Grungy, of course. You know, <laughs> I got everything else out and I forgot what razor, but he's always here. He's always waiting. We're going to have him on six today. Old Grandpa Grungy, the 1960 Gillette Fat Boy Vintage. Just like me. It's only 10 years older than me. Yeah. I could still... I was going to say I could beat you up, but I don't want to beat you up. Oh, good boy. All right. So we're going to shave with that. And I'm going to lather up. Now, I'm going to use cold water today. Have you ever done a cold water shave, especially on a hot day like today? It's like you don't want to eat hot soup or, you know, things like that. On I'm going to do it. I'm not, I don't want to do a hot shave. I'm going to do a cold shave today, folks. And uh, I'm going to lather up with this. It kind of looks like a, a peppermint, kind of, you know, like... Uh, could look like whatever you want it to. Or like the Christmas nougats, you know, brocks or nougat, as they say in some parts of the world. So we're going to lather up with that one. It's down here in the cold water. 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 And uh, we're going to start off, before we get the shave, with the ice cube. This is a pre-shaved soap from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. They sent it to me a while back. And look at that. It's translucent blue. It's cold. I'm going to stick that in the water, too. And we're going to kind of do that over the face. I didn't shave the past couple of days. You can kind of see it. Not great. This isn't 4K. I should not be in 4K. I'm as high resolution as anybody needs to see with all the imperfections on this old mug of mine. But what we're going to shave with the soap after we do the ice cube is Christmas 2020 Space Soap Penguins in Flight. Now, I don't want to remember 2020 at all. But this is one of the good things that came out during that awful year. And look, it's a penguin. It's the cutest. And it smells like wild cherry. Oh my gosh. Can't get this stuff anymore. It was, he only made it like maybe one or two of these. I'm not even sure. And I think he's, he hasn't been making any space soap in a while, but you should get back and do it. Bob, if you're out there, it's Bob, right? Dang it. It's been a long time. So Christmas, mm, love that scent. And then finally, Cane, also from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. So we're starting it off with some Phoenix and we're ending it up with some candy cane scented aftershave. This is gonna burn probably because it's alcohol based. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. Let's get shaving. Like I said, I took a shower up at the North Pole. <laughs> I did my hair and boy are my reindeers tired. All right, let's put some water on our face. Not hot water this time, kind of coolish. Certainly not hot. And then, if you've never used a pre-shave anything before, something like this is very mentholated, and what it'll do is add a lot of slickness. This is a really sl I can barely hold on to this, so I'm using two hands. It's not like, oh, my precious. No, it's, it's going to slip out of my hands if I don't use two. Because it's a pretty hefty-sized thing here. Like I said, I did not shave yesterday, so you can almost see the whiskers. People are always like, you're not even shaving anything, but... That's the uninitiated, and that's okay. Let him think that. That's all right. That's, I'm done with that. Put it down, let it dry. I kind of, like, put it on the counter so it's, you know, touching the least amount of counter space. So 
so that the bottom doesn't get all goopy. You know how disgusting soap gets when it like lays in a soap dish full of water and you put your, you go to your grandma's house and it's like in there like, oh, God, grandma, get some soft soap, get some of this stuff, will you? Anyway, all right, so there's that. And then we're going to lather up with the, where is it? Here it is. Penguins in Space. And the, oh yeah, this is from Wild West Brushworks. That's where this is from. This is uh, uh, synthetic, which I like to use. And I can already feel the menthol. It's cooling me off. It's slowing me down. But that heat, man, I tell you. I know it's, it's hot all over, and I, I feel for you if you're in uh, parts of the country that aren't used to the kind of heat that you're experiencing. Uh, I got a friend that just moved to Colorado. Good luck, Carl, out there in Colorado. But he showed me a screenshot of his phone. It's 101 there in Colorado. So he's like, wait a minute, I just moved from here to get away from this. It followed him. All right, so here's a nice lather. Oh, Bob at Space Soap, man. If you're out there listening, if you're still out there, you need to get back into this because it is your, your products are fantastic. And I know people love them. I know you never intended to sell them, but uh, I'm glad you didn't. I got, I'm glad that some people got to experience it. And also, I've had some very good little boys and girls send me some Christmas shout out wishes. So I've got uh, four, four people on here. I don't know if there's any girls or boys or whoever they are. They're just, there's some screen names. <laughs> so I'll shout out all of you. Oh, uh, that cold water feels good. Mm -mm -mm. I think I need a little bit more water in this. I think I put too much soap in it. But I'll tell you what, with that, uh, just like, you know, get it everywhere. Hey, you, you notice I don't have quite a farmer's tan anymore? I mean, kind of on my arms. Yeah, Hawaii. I tried to take my shirt off a few times. That's right. See, growing up, I was always overweight. I've struggled uh, with my weight since I was a little kid, since I was about 11 or so. That's when I gained weight, and I was always, you know, kind of the chubby kid in middle school, high school, college. And so I was always terrified to take my shirt off. Funny now that I make these videos shirtless, but you can't see everything. <laughs> Thank goodness, also. You don't want to see everything in 1080p or whatever this is in. But anyway, it was it was mortifying to go to the pool when I was a kid because... You know, first of all, I'm also very light-skinned. I can tan a little bit. I can get a little bit of color, but color, but it goes right back to to being pale. Uh, but yeah, the combination of being light-skinned and being the chubby kid and like you know not wanting to uh, you know parade around without my shirt on, uh, yeah, it stunk. So I now that I've you know once again <laughs> lost enough weight where I feel comfortable taking my shirt off. I did that when I was about 30. I, I did a big diet. I weighed about, uh, right before I turned 30, I was like 250 pounds, 252 in fact. I remembered exactly. Oh, Grandpa Grungy is cutting right through these whiskers like nothing. Got a feather blade in there. Got it on six, if you're following along at home in your hymnal, in your Christmas book, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so when I was 30, I went on a big diet and lost, you know, I got down to, what I wanted to be, like 170, 165. And I was able to take my shirt off for the first time and not be so self-conscious. But it's great these days because there's so much of that, you know, anti-body shaming stuff that I wish existed when I was a kid. And there's also no longer the stigma of wearing a shirt in the pool because now they got those swim shirts. Those They used to call them rash guards, I think. They're surfer people, dude. And uh, it's just great for not getting sunburned. It's easier to put on the kids if they want to wear it. You don't have to slather them with, uh, you know, suntan oil or not suntan oil, suntan lotion. And uh, so I wish those things existed when I was a kid because I was extremely self-conscious and I always wore a shirt in the pool. And uh, yeah, so if you're ever feeling those kind of ways, know that that kind of self-confidence only comes later in life. And you don't have to have lost weight to gain it. You can just be like, you know what? This is me. What you see is what you get. Get out there and swim. Take that shirt off. Get tan. Get burned. Don't get too burned. And uh, yeah, just be yourself. There's a lot more of that kind of acceptance and, and, and awareness these days, I guess, you know? For all of us that have felt like uh, kind of the odd man out. So anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get out some shout outs. First of all, shout out to Pink Tiger Studios. I don't know what you do there at the studios, but shout out to you do almost anything. 
Pink Tiger Studios. Oh man, this stuff is so nice and cold. Even the razor, that steel, that old steel on there feels good and cool. Oh, but I'm sure this is all gonna you know, vanish in an instant as soon as I step outside. Speaking of vanishing in an instant, I took a walk, uh, I was taking a walk last week in the morning before it got too hot. Although I kind of like the heat sometimes. It's like a blast furnace heat. It's like, whoa, this is really interesting. 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 43.3 degrees Celsius is an interesting experience if you've never walked around in it. Kind of like I would imagine, you know, sub-zero temperatures would be. But um, I was taking a walk and I looked at, there was one tiny puff of cloud in the sky, just the tiniest, everything else was bright blue. And I just watched it as it evaporated. It just disappeared in front of my eyes. It was just gone. It's like, it gave up. It's like, you know what? I was going to give you guys a tiny bit of shade, but I'm out. So I've never seen that before. I'm sure it happens all the time, but because it was just that one, I noticed it. Oh, Grandpa Grungy, you always getting me. Like I always say, he's keeping me honest. All right, there's the first pass. Feeling mentholated. Ah, oh, feeling cool. That needs to be colder. There we go. I did a real cold shave once with ice cubes. Go back and look. Go back and look. I did. I did. I did. I really I did. All right, let's put a little bit more water on the brush, and then we'll lather up for the second pass. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, this does smell like Christmas, because I did use it around that time. So you got that, uh, those scent memories, man. If you're lucky enough to uh, have your sense of smell still intact, uh, didn't lose it for whatever reason, like I kind of, I lost my sense of taste back in the 90s. I can still kind of tell what things taste like, but not completely. But uh, those scent, remember, you smell something like, uh, you know, you smell crayons and it takes you right back to, to grade school. Or you smell, you know, a certain soap that you used to use and you haven't used in a long time. Or a cologne or a perfume. It's just incredible, isn't it? Where is that stuff stored in our brain? And how is it interlaced with emotion? It's just incredible. So fragile, our brains, too, especially mine. <laughs> but uh, just the fact that all these things, for the most part, work together in tandem, it's incredible. Are there any brain neurosurgeons out there that can tell me how that stuff works? <laughs> Speaking of neurosurgeons, let me wake up my iPad here so I can see who else I got to shout out. And with wet fingers, the uh, little, this is an old iPad, so I don't have face detection. I wonder if it would detect my face. With shaving cream all over it. I guess it would. Because I can now, you know, it'll t detect your face with sunglasses on. So, I would assume so. Tristan471, shout out to you, Tristan471. You're always in the, uh, in the chat. Always in the comments. As Flossie Carter says, holding it down in the comments. So, I appreciate you. Shout out to you. I feel a little bit, uh... Got a little close on the edge of my mouth there. You got to watch out for that. Watch out around the corners of your mouth or else you'll get that kind of burning sensation that you get if you eat too many tortilla chips. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. You're like shoving your, shoving your face full of tortilla chips one night, you know? Cutting out the corners of your mouth. Is that just me? Is that just me? I tell you. All right. Trying to go a little bit slower with the second pass. I always get overexcited, you know, over that first one because I'm just starting out talking. I want to tell you guys everything. Remember what all I'm going to say. That Santa suit I was wearing earlier, that one. I actually bought that before our first son was born. We were uh, at a, like a Hobby Lobby or something after Christmas and they were selling the full suit in a box made by the Halco Company. And it says, makers of the original Santa suit. So, Halco, H-A-L-C-O. Um, they were selling for like 50 bucks for this whole thing. Comes with the hat and the beard and the pants and the jacket and the fake wig and, you know. And we've had it ever since. Little did I know that day before I even had children that I would be wearing it in a shaving video in 2022. Life's funny sometimes, folks. If you don't stop and look around a minute. You just might miss it. That was paraphrased from Ferris Bueller. Funny enough, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So great. 
Oh, I still love it. Still love it. All right, there's two passes. And funny enough, my youngest son uh, started to watch it the other day. He's like, I want to watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I think I'd showed it to him before, I think. But, uh, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm so proud of you, son. So you couldn't... It wasn't free on a streaming service. You could rent it or you could buy it. So I went ahead and splurged and spent the $14.99. So now I can watch it whenever I want to, as long as I have access to Wi-Fi or data or something. Which is nice. So I got dead going for me. Which is nice. Oh man, this stuff smells so great. It smells so great. This cherry, it's a beautiful, rich cherry scent. It's got a little tiny bit of a spice in it, like a Christmas spice almost. And actually, on the 24th of June, that was six months until Christmas. So whew, we're on the slide into, uh, into fall, folks. Halloween is the next big, uh, big thing coming up. Unless you count your birthday or my birthday at the end of August, that kind of stuff. I'm going to go real slow on this third pass. Having that cool steel against my skin feels nice. Ah, it's the simple pleasures, folks. I'm a simple kind of guy when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't need a lot of fancy stuff. I appreciate it, but I don't feel a part of it, you know? Like if I get invited to a really fancy restaurant or stay in a nice hotel or, or whatever, I appreciate it, but I just don't feel like I'm a part of it. I feel like I'm more... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of like before I went to Hawaii, I was like, I don't, I don't feel like I deserve to go to Hawaii. And I kept saying this to my friends, like, what are you talking about? It's like, I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. But it worked out beautifully. Gorgeous. Oh, man. I think I need to take a nap after this. That's something else that this heat will do is make you just want to lay down in the afternoon. Of course, I want to do that any time. Oh boy, I never used to take naps when I was younger and my friends did. I was like, what are you doing taking naps for? Come on. But now I see. It helps. It helps. Especially like about three o'clock in the afternoon, I just want to hit a wall. But if you follow the advice of the Dr. Pepper label, at least in the old days, it said, drink a Dr. Pepper at 10, 2, and 4. Just to give you that sugar rush that you need and to, you know, drink three Dr. Peppers a day, which is a bit excessive. But back then, they were like, you know, eight-ounce bottles or something, so it wasn't quite the same. Drink three 20-ounce bottles of uh, Dr. Pepper, you'd float away by the end of the day. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Man, I'm just Mr. Movie Quote today. Please excuse me. Shout-out! Another shout-out coming. Omega Black. Have you been a good little Omega Black this year? You get something in your stocking. Get a Barbasol in your stocking. That's kind of Christmassy. Need some green on it. Ooh, that'd be nice. Green and red Barbasol Christmas scent. I'm still trying to get them to uh, make a Sinatra Lennon signature scent limited edition. You know, like a peppermint scent with menthol. Maybe a little hint of cherry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, my friends over at Barbasol do, do watch these videos and they do read my uh, uh, Instagram posts and I thank them for it and it's, I just feel very, you know, it's very cool they reached out to me a few years ago to, to send me stuff and talk to me about stuff, so it's really neat. I feel very, I feel very loved. Thank you, Barbasol. Thank you to all my friends over there. And uh, is that it? Did I finish? I was talking, having such a good time chatting. You know, gathered around the roaring fire. Reading Dickens at Christmas Carol. Watching Christmas Vacation and Home Alone. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? I should go watch Home Alone with the kids. Oh, man. What a good shave. Thank you, Grandpa Grungy. Again, let me put a little water on my face. And just do like a little, you know, the old trouble spots like I always have. You know them. You love them. From my ear to my throat. And we got one more shout out. Dustin Galley. Shout out to you, Dustin. Appreciate you watching. And a non-asked for shout out, but a shout out to Monty, who I read his comment today. He was having some tough times recently. So, like I said, I got your back. Got your back, Monty. You know, sometimes, even in the most dire moments, there's a reason why something happens. And you don't figure it out till later. It's like, man, if I hadn't 
had that happened to me, then I wouldn't have had this great thing that I have. So that happens a lot in life to a lot of people. So let's, let's think about it that way, you know? Because when you think about the future or what is or what isn't, it's always better to think positively. Be realistic. Don't be, you know, cuckoo go nuts, but, uh, you know, be positive because it'll make you feel better because <laughs> you just don't know either way. Might as well take the positive bent. I know it's hard. I know it's easy for me to say from, from my TV screen or, you know, whatever you're watching me on. But, uh, yeah, Monty, it's going to be all right. Okay, cold water. Woo, it's almost too cold now. Put the shivers. Not really. Just staying away from that old sun. See, I even waited until uh, after the sun had moved. So it didn't just burn me while I'm here trying to trying to shave. I'm trying to shave over here. We get it. We get it. You're hot. You're the sun. You burned every single human being that's ever walked the face of this earth and every animal and everything else. That's a crazy thing, isn't it? I mean, I know the sun regenerates itself constantly. Whatever nuclear things are going on inside of that little star. But, uh, yeah. Let's call it the same sun. The same sun that's shown on every single thing that's ever walked this planet. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Candy cane aftershave. I'm not going to use this first. I'm going to use a couple other things first. Because I need some extra cooling. I'm going to use some terror first. Because that's like a... You know, that, that I can splash on. This I need to spread on. Ooh. That good Greek yogurt. Look at that stuff. This will keep on tingling for the next several hours. But like I always say, I warn you with this stuff, don't get it in your eye. If you rub your eye like four hours from now, you're gonna, your eye's gonna get all watery. Ooh, that's nice. Barrister and Man Terror. It's one of my go-tos these days. Love it, love it. Not to be outdone by that. Has anyone ever used three aftershaves during a shave? You're about to see it. Cremo, my fave fave. Sound like one of those dang Gen Zers now. Actually, I don't. I don't know what they sound like. <laughs> I'm Gen X, by the way. I'm not a boomer. If you guys call Gen Xers boomer, we're going to be like, Psh, whatever. Because that's what Gen X does. We've always been like that. We're still the forgotten latchkey kid generation. The millennials and the boomers are going at it. While Gen X is sitting back, smoking a cigarette and watching Reality Bites. I don't like that movie. I never did. Although, I do still have... Quite a crush on Winona Ryder. So Winona, if you're if you're uh, watching, cheers, congratulations on Stranger Things. All right, finally, Phoenix artisan accoutrement cane. Not uh, cane like from uh, what you might call it, uh, Citizen Kane. Not Citizen Kane. Ooh, oh gosh, I forgot to cut my hand on a tape measure yesterday. Sliced me like a like a razor. Ooh, bled like a. Razor blade cut bleeds. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, man, I tell you what. Anything cherry-flavored scented or peppermint, I just can't get enough of it. I can't get enough. I just can't get enough. See? Child of the 80s told you. Proved it. <laughs> that was Depeche Mode, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, okay, so that's it. It's Christmas time. I got to go put the lights up outside. Got to put the tree up. Oh, by the way, the electricity fixed itself. Uh, first of all, the heater, the hot water heater, had just been wrapped by the painters in paper. That's why it didn't work. I took that off. It worked fine. And now the outlets that weren't working work again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. If it does fail again, then I'll take care of it. But anyway, let's go back over those shout outs one more time, shall we? From the bottom to the top, Dustin Galley, shout out to you. Omega Black, shout out to you. Tristan471, also shout out to you. And finally, Pink Tiger Studios, who kicked it all off. Have a ho, ho, happy... Oh, that's dumb. I'm going to get out of here. I think I've got heat stroke already. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me. Leave a comment. I read every single one of them, even if I can't reply to all of them. All right, everybody. See ya.